so uh, I born in 1986. My city calls Niterói, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. I got two brothers, I'm the middle one. I have a younger brother, he's in the UFC right now, Chu Herbert Burns. And I have my older brother, Fred Burns. He's a Navy SEAL now in Brazil. All three, we all three black belt in Jiu Jitsu. My, my life in the sports are very early. So what happened that uh, I live in a house that nothing big, nothing, you know, nothing crazy, normal house in Brazil, but uh, my daddy was always struggling with money. I never starve. I can say that pretty easy. I never starve. But we get a couple, a lot of complicated moments. Like I, I still got clear like memories and that, that Friday morning, you know, we come back to the school and uh, my mom just let us know like, we didn't pay the lights, you know, the power. So let, let me know, you guys explain there, but if the, the car of the, the company of the light stop, they're gonna cut. So I hope they don't come. If they don't come until six, we're good. But if they come, they're gonna cut the lights, you know? And then we had no money. So my daddy was struggling, trying to make money. He was hustling, but it wasn't a good day. Back then, I was, I wasn't training, training. I was very young back then, but I remember that that happened multiple times. It happened with the with the lights, it happened with the water. So, like I said, I never starved, but I had a lot of tough moments. Like that, we always hustling, we always helping my dad out, me and my brothers. And uh, I believe when I was 12, one of his clients, they had a mechanic office. The guy came in to fix his car. We play around, help my dad out, but kind of looking for a little coins inside the car and help my daddy. And then we saw the gi inside the car with a black belt. And then we kind of play around with the gi and that, and we thought it was a karate gi, but the karate gi is very tiny. And that was, uh, the gi was a little like, a little bigger, you know? Was, and then we kind of, that, that might be judo, I don't know. And so my daddy talked to his client that he he was a professor of jiu-jitsu. And then my dad, he shouldn't because at that time we were tough with money, but he, in exchange of the service, he asked the, the professor to give us a class. First day we got there, we, we had fun. We kind of had a little athleticism to help us a little bit. So we got back home, my daddy asked the question, did you guys like it? And we kind of like it a lot. We have a lot of fun and say, yeah, we like it. And he said, and I never, I get goosebumps when I remember that because I said, if you guys like it, you guys gotta go out there and train hard and try your best. Because you guys know I have no money and you guys have only three months of scholarship. So make sure you guys go, you guys go out there and give your best. Otherwise I'm not gonna be able to pay for you guys. In the beginning was always kind of like, I like the training, but I like way more the competition until something clicked. So when I remember when I was 16, I was in Rio and the world's tournament until 2006 was in Rio. After 2006, moved to California. So I was there, I believe it was 2002, 2003, I think I was, I was 16 years old. And when I was watching that tournament, I had my first click, my first, wow, I, I can do this. You know, if I train very hard, if I, 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 I can become a, a black belt world champion, you know, and then that, that just became my goal. And then I, I start changing all my surrounds, you know, I start, I remember the mic from my house to the school that I was going was about, let's say miles, that, that's in kilometers. If I change that for miles, might be 15 miles, maybe, yeah, maybe something around that. So I stopped getting the buzz and I was going on the bike just to get my conditioning better. And then I started doing strength conditioning. And then I hit up my coach and say, hey, I need an extra session. I need, I, I want to get better. So how we do is say, okay, we're going to do a drill session at four. So we do, you go to school, do your strength conditioning. Strength conditioning was two days a week. And Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're doing a drilling session at four. You rest up. 6.37 we do the training. So, and then that, that became my routine. I was just obsessed with that. It 
When I was 16, I was a blue belt. A blue belt, I did very good. I won a couple world tournaments, not the biggest one, but I, but they have a lot. It's kind of like boxing. They have a lot of federation. I did very good in couples. Purple belt, the same. I did very good in couples. Didn't want the big one, got third place. Brown belt, I did great on a lot of a lot of different ones. Didn't win the big one, got second place twice on a brown belt. First one, 2007 here, but that was the first time that I came to California because of the Jiu-Jitsu tournament, the Jiu-Jitsu the World tournament. Become second place too. Got back to Brazil, got my black belt in 2007. That was the first time that I came to the U.S. I already knew I wanted to become a champion, but I was doing college in Brazil as a physical education. And uh, I was in my my first year, and uh, when I had another click, that something just hit on me, and then I was in the class, and uh, I just did my first tournament as a black belt, and I did very good. I lost in the finals to the guy that was Brazilian national champion on a black belt, and I was third place in the world. So I was very confident. If I was trained a little hard at that time, it could beat that guy and could do a little better. So next day I, w I went to the class, and I was in the class, and I was just, something just hit me. Like, what am I doing here, you know? That's not what I want. And the first year as a black belt, it's, it's, it's so hard, you know, because you just got your black belt and all the black belts are there already, you know, you're just a new guy. And uh, I had to prove everything again. That 2008, I did I did win a couple tournaments. I lost a lot of tournaments too. It was a very hard year for me because I kind of had all hook up, a little things, supplements, you know, geese, ecology, motorcycle. I had a little money. I was, you know, going out a little bit. I was just in my early 20s, and uh, I had to give all, I, I gotta give up all of that and move to a Sao Paulo, to the neighborhood, to a small city, and we were training three, four times a day with a, a lot of good guys, a lot of guys that became, every single one that were that at that team, they become something big, you know, you got the Mendes Bros right there, uh, Bruno Frazado, all those guys that I'm saying the names, you guys might not know, but they all high levels, and today they they on a different level. Became world champions. They all want beautiful jeans all over the world. So Mendes Bros, Bruno Frazado, Good Campos, and everyone that was there, Claudio Carlos, and everyone that was there at that time, they become something. And then we were training so hard. The first year, like I said, I had to work as a security at night. I gotta wash, clean up the gym. Uh, Bathroom was on me every Thursday, if I'm not wrong, clean up and uh, doing private and start from zero again. And then that was 2008 was the, one of the hardest year of my life. Then 2009, I went to the woods here again in California, got a lot of sponsors. Things started to get better. I was in second place in the world as a black belt. So and then the, the door kind of opened a little bit, got a couple more sponsors and uh, things were getting better. 2010, I was uh, Abu Dhabi World Champion, Brazilian National Champion, third place on the world. 2011 was my year, I became a world champion, European champion. And then I just decided to move to MMA, was when I met Vitor Belfort, went to Action Couture, met Michael Chandler, and started my MMA career, right? I have that goal to become a world champion. When I made it that, I automatically on my, on my mind and me to make another goal. You know, I, I had to and then the next goal was just, I gotta do, I gotta become an MMA fighter, I gotta go to the UFC and I, I'm gonna be the UFC champion. That was the clear goal I ever had right there, boom.